What's going on everyone? This is Freddy from AWOL Studios and today I'm going to give you a introduction into landscape splines and how to set it up for roads and things like um, trails. So instead of spending all this time in your landscape trying to smooth it and make it perfect, the Unreal Engine actually has a tool in there that is going to be key for your game development. So I'm going to give you the basic starting point. And it's going to be your job to play around with it and tweak it and make it work for you and your style. So really quick, I'm going to show you how to do something as simple as this. Just a simple road. Nothing crazy. Just a simple, simple, simple road. So I'm going to use a single plane. I'm going to pretend that you don't have anything because you're new. And you're just trying to get a damn road in here. So using a single plane... Um, with the material will be fine. Now, what we need to do is, if you don't know how to create a um, terrain and you have the, the factory one, just go to your landscape button, which is on the top left in your modes, or shift and three, and manage, and then, you know, do a new landscape, and create one with whatever texture you, you have. So that, that's a totally different thing. But what I'm going to show you is that it works best with your splines if you actually have a landscape material that you can actually paint on. Now, I did make a video to get you started with that. That way you can paint your terrain different colors and things like that, okay? So I will provide that video description in the link. If you want to watch that first and then come back, great. So what we need to do is first and foremost, you want to make sure you are clicked on to your landscape. Or you can find your landscape in the outline and click it, okay? While that is highlighted, go back to your mountain, go to manage, click on the editor, the select tool, go all the way down to edit splines. Now, here's where everybody kind of gets stuck. There's not a lot of information for you to get started on this or how to even get it to, to generate this. And it's really easy. We're going to follow a one to five step process. So wherever you want to start, okay, <clears throat> like I'm going to start right here. You want to hold the control button, hit left click on the mouse while holding, you're going to get a landscape node right here, a little icon. <clears throat> this is going to be your setup. So once you click on it in your details panel, you should see everything right here. You only want to focus on the width, side fall off, and end fall off. These variables and numbers here are huge. That's, that's for something like mountains and bigger things don't even worry about that try doing about 250 the side fall off 275 and then 250 for the end fall off or you know 275 so 250 275 and 275 okay so now i'm going to go into full screen i want to add more of these so before you do anything i'm going to click off i need to make sure that this is highlighted so this is number one it has to be highlighted. I'm going to set up where the second's going to be. Once I'm happy with kind of where I want it, hold control, click. I'm still holding control, click. That's three, four, and I'm going to spread five out over here off. Okay. So now I have one, two, three, four, five. If you wanted to, um, you can raise each and every one of them individually. So I can raise this one in the air. I can rotate this one. If I rotate too much, all I have to do is hit R. It's going to bring it back and it's kind of try to find the best way for this to be. Now I can still kind of tweak it a little bit, but you see it's saying, Hey man, I don't really like that. But if you're happy with it and it doesn't distort the mesh, don't worry about it. If I click on this section here where the tangents are and I hit R, it's going to do the same thing. Okay? 
So I don't want that. I kind of want a curve. So I'm going to click back on that. That'd be five. And I want a curve. Maybe if I curve this one a little bit too, it wouldn't be as bad. And I'm going to pick this up here. And I'm going to pick it up here. So I'm going to see if this one here is... Okay, see how it just did that minor tweak. Okay. So I have a little upsy daisy and then going up so here's the cool thing about this i want my landscape to fill up and it's going to fill up within these parameters right here which is my fall off all right so i'm going to hit <coughs> f11 i'm going to go back to here you want to make sure if you have multiple splines that you are focusing on the spline that you are working on only so I'm gonna go very slow with this one first things first line up whichever mesh you're gonna use so mine is right here um, I think it was plain something that I named it so you should have a plane from the starting content y you should okay so we're gonna go back to one most people make the mistake and they drag it into here while it's underneath the default. Don't do that. Go to segments, which each and every one of these are your segments. So right now I highlighted all of it. Okay. I am going to look for landscape spline meshes. And I'm going to hit the plus to add my element, which is going to be my static. Hit the zero drop down, and then I'm going to simply drag my static to that. Now, there's going to be some little bit of polishing um, to do, like this one here, maybe smooth it out a little bit. So if I go to Sculpt, I said my thing was at 250, so if I kind of just, well, I didn't mean to do that. I hit the, uh, the Sculpt, I want to smooth it, and sometimes you may have to just even eroded away so let me just uh, do a little hydro erosion or is it buried in the ground I think it's buried that's real easy either do the noise and tweak it or just simply raise it up a little bit by using the reference point so okay anyway now that I have my texture on there if your texture is flipped, so you see the line is going this way, just click where you can see the tangents and hit F. Now it's going to flip it. Same thing. Flip it. Flip it. So now it's all facing the same direction. So now I want my landscape to kind of form to this okay make sure you're on this one trust me it will f your day up if you're if you're rushing this hit the segments and hit only selected don't do this one unless you are absolutely sure you know what the hell you're doing just hit only selected now the landscape formed right to it it won't fall off here because I didn't put another point so it kind of stops right there so don't worry about that that's easy um, to fix but you can see it goes right to it so for this one I'm just gonna you know I'm just gonna move this up so get it from stop freaking out and maybe yeah so this is where you're coming in and polishing with the smoothing tool should help you out just to clear that up and just smooth it down and follow your brush pattern so any any um landscape material popping in smooth it out to the brush size that you made it mine was 250 and just get it out of there it's definitely a lot faster than sitting here with the old-fashioned paintbrush and trying to build this you, you'll be here forever so this is a good step for you to build roads and trails.
So let's do this. So here's my road. I'm going to select my tangents. I'm going to delete it. Now check it out. I have a perfect trail that I created. It's pretty cool. So this is another tool that you can use to uh, build trails and, and make them kind of navigate through uh, your terrain and so forth. But I'm going to put my road back. So Control Z. So I have my road back. All right. So let me close my connection. Yeah, there. Go to my control points. Everything's good. Okay, segments. We're good. Good, 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 good. Okay. So let's say if I have multiple paints. Okay. Multiple paints. So let's say Rocky Dirt. If I click my number one segment, I don't want to do anything in here. I want to go to segments. And I want to put the paint layer name. And I think I put it as Rocky Dirt just like that. Okay. Just want to verify that. Um, yeah, Rocky Dirt. Okay. Th that name has to be correct on your, on your landscape side. Absolutely has to be correct. So Rocky Dirt. And I'm just going to hit Only Selected. I'm going to let this compile because now I just applied a paint texture to the spline. Okay, so now you can see, oh, I'm going to have to delete it again. I'm going to delete it. Now you can see that my rock texture, my dirt, follows this area. Now, if I wanted to really make it look nice, and I'm making a trail, um, I could hit grass, and I'm just going to tap it to make it render in. So I'm going to wait for my shaders to compile. And that's my phone going off. Leave me alone. So I got my grass now. Now this is where you can come in and start really customizing, um, you know, your world, what, whatever it is you're doing. This is just to get you started. So I'm going to paint it and do my trail. Oh, boy, leave me alone. They always know when I'm recording because they, they always want to chime in. The rest of the day, they, they don't want to even bother me. So let's just walk my trail really quick to show you how it looks in the game. So yeah. Yeah. I have my uh, test character here. So I have a trail. It's nice. It's smooth. And if I even wanted to, I could take my car out and drive on it without it going freaking crazy. So I'm going to drive my car on it and make sure that it is smooth. And yeah, let me just get my car out. So I want to try this terrain. And that's another thing where do you want to start? I always, for my levels, I always do a one to five. Because if I make a mistake, it's easier for me to modify the five than it is to modify the 125. Trust me, you don't want to do that. And I tell you personally that I made a huge mistake and control Z was not saving my ass that day. But thank God for backing your shit up. So, yeah. So, let me grab a car. Let me go play it. Let me see how it is when I drive. Yeah. Oh, hit the wrong button. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm going to see if this is smooth for my car to go up, go down. By the way, guys, I'm a shitty driver, so don't ever drive with me. So, you can see how... The car or any other vehicle smoothly goes up and down the terrain, and it's nice. It's nice and easy. I'm gonna switch my. Let's go in here and look at it. Let's see how the. Looks like a roller coaster. Okay. Nice and easy. Okay, cool. So now we can drive our car on it. That's fantastic. So yeah. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I will answer them. If you like what I did for you today, the best thing you can do for me is subscribe, like the video, and if you have any, any questions, seriously, don't be shy. 
don't be afraid to ask a re what you feel is a redundant question because you are new. You do not know. I'm still learning every day, and I don't know it all. So if I don't know the answer, I will always get it for you. But if I know the answer, I will always help you. Freddie from AWOL Studios, keep creating, and I will see you another day.